Okay, try it. It's good. <laughs> oh, it's really good. Pretty, some of them aren't. Um, there's beetle damage. There's just went on this coffee tour. Um, we went to this one coffee farm called Heavenly Hawaiian and it was so cool. And they talked about all the different climates and how um, coffee is grown here in Kona. And Kona is especially known for its coffee and everything. And we learned so much about it. And I didn't realize how particular um, and just how detailed their process is to get the beans because they go through and they go and hand pick the beans um, from every single tree. They go and spray the beans or the trees with this own, their own, um, almost like a pesticide, but it's grown from, or it's made from this fungus um, because someone within the last, I think it was like within the last 20 years, brought their own coffee over to the island and accidentally brought a beetle with them. And that is the only predator that these coffee uh, trees suffer from. So this fungus and um, this is what they're able to use now instead of pesticide to kill those beetles. And it's made directly from the soil that the coffee beans and coffee plants grow from. So it was so cool. And we got to learn more about the process of like how they throw the beans away and how they grade their coffee um, because there are different grading systems and basically if a bag of coffee doesn't say 100% Kona coffee then it's not 100% even if it says excellent, amazing, whatever adjective, if it's not 100% it's not full Kona coffee. And everything was just so cool to learn about and everything um, and then my mom and I, I didn't get to film any of this because we were so hands-on. We got our own little private tour. No one else joined us, but we got our own tour, um, or we got to do this workshop where we roasted our own coffee beans and we got to take those home with us. And it's so freaking cool. Um, I made mine like a medium roast. My mom made hers a light roast. And we also learned about how um, shoot, I forget what it's called, but they're, um, typically when the bean, the coffee bean is ready, you can, um, you can squeeze the, the bean or pod that it comes in and two beans will shoot out of it. But sometimes, um, it's, and it's actually only 1% of the beans that are picked come out with a whole bean, only one. 
And so those are more expensive and more high quality because all of that one bean got the nutrient instead of the two that normally shoot out. Um, and so they're able to separate those two from it and everything. Um, and it was just so cool to learn about everything and everything on this farm is like done by hand and everything. It's so, so, so interesting to learn about. It's like one of the most fun things I think we have done. Um, yeah, but all in all, it was super freaking cool. And then I got this coffee, um, and I forget how to say it, but it was K-E, K-E-A, yeah, something like that. So I'm not sure exactly how to say it, but um, it was really good. And all in all, just an absolutely amazing experience. Well guys, so much for that. So a little update, our luau just got canceled because it was freaking pouring. <laughs> and we were sitting in ponchos and like five minutes after we sat down, got canceled. But on the bright side, we got these cute little lays and we got mugs and a free drink. So there is a sliver of a bright side if you ask me. All I mean, and all I'm saying is, I. Basically, that means that my family and I just have to come back to Hawaii to do a luau, you know? <laughs> my mom's right in front of me laughing. What's so funny? Yeah. But look how pretty. I'm so, I'm excited we at least got the lays. That's, that's cool. Yeah, good thing we got And these, down. these cute get... little seashell necklaces. Yeah, they seat. didn't even finish seating people. Luckily, we just got there in time. We had literally gotten sat down like five minutes before and sure enough, of course now 10 minutes later it's done raining um the clouds are clearing up Sorry. you know um, why wouldn't they but well now we're going to find dinner so <laughs> so much for that <laughs> it's okay there's always next time it's okay that's right, make that's the right. Best of it. yeah make the best of it you know my dad had the greatest attitude your dad my dad had the what bestest attitude towards yeah, my dad had the best attitude as he yelled at us in the lobby. <laughs> dad, I really like that shirt on you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And I got all dressed up. Hi. What's your lace? Hi. Hi, you, you have the parking ticket? Wait. No, you have it. Very cute. I even switched with you. Okay, Mom. 
What's been your favorite part of vacay? Here, come on. Oh, jeez. Oh. What's been uh, your favorite part of vacation? All of it. <laughs> all of it? <laughs> uh, the snorkeling. Snorkeling. And the coffee. And the coffee. Oh, coffee. The coffee. For sure. Yeah. I loved the, the coffee, coffee tour. The coffee tour that we loved did. That. Yeah, that was good. Dad, what was your favorite part of vacay? Of what? Of vacation. All the family meals. <laughs> All the family time. All the great family time that we have shared together. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. Hey, G. All of the great moments. There we are. Uh huh. Paige, what's been your favorite part of vacation? Um, I like the snorkeling, but I don't know. It's about to be her tattoo. <laughs> Jumping on the bed to with dad last night. Yeah, that was pretty, pretty funny. funny. You mean pouncing? <laughs> Invading dad's. <laughs> my, my little solitude space. Yep. He's going to have to use another napkin to pick up that napkin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why did they put that? It's a sun flare. your tattoo. I am so sad to say that it is officially our last day in Hawaii and this trip has been amazing. Um, you know, it was really sad that our luau got canceled and then um, the whole family went and got tattoos yesterday and um, I feel like I complain a lot in these videos, just like venting about the little things um, and that's really not what I want to do and that's not like the energy I want to put out into the world so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna talk about it it was honestly it just wasn't an experience that I've ever had before in regards to tattoos but on the bright side the tattoos were absolutely wonderful beautiful everyone loves them um, and that's what matters you know everyone kept a good attitude through the whole situation um, but all in all it was it was good, it was fun, and now we are packing up to go home, and I am so sad, but yet I'm ready to go home. I'm ready to go see my puppies. Um, but I'm just, I'm so thankful to have had this experience. Um, and honestly, more than that, just to have been able to take family time, because my family and I, we've had a lot to deal with over the last year, two years, as many people have, but after losing my grandparents and just everything, it was a very nice, um, nice time away together that we haven't gotten in a while. So all in all, I am so glad that I got to bring you along on this and thank you so much for joining me along the ride. And I am so proud of you. I'm so glad you're here. As always, I hope you have an amazing day, week, month, whenever you are watching this, go out and live an amazing life. And as always, be kind to others.